Welcome everyone. I'm so glad you could join us again. I hope you've been enjoying all of our discoveries so far. Let's go make some new ones. Come on. Here, we're standing in front of the White Eagle Polish Community Hall in James Bay. Let's go inside and learn about their culture. Hi, Sarah. Can I join you? Hi, Dan. That's a great idea. Let's go discover this together. Come on. Library at the White Eagle Polish Community Hall to speak with the president. Let's talk with her now. So when was the Polish community in Victoria established? It was established in 1954 after the first immigrants came here to Victoria. They bought this little piece of land and they started building the building. Uh, when they started building and coming here every day with their kids and their husbands, their whole families were trying to build that hall. Uh, they call it Little Poland because that's all they had from the old country. And right now we try to carry on and the tradition and that's what we are doing. How many members are a part of your community? Well, we are still building the members. Some are going, some are coming. Uh, there is about a thousand uh, people in Victoria that are Polish and they're coming more or less, you know, to uh, uh, take part in our traditional dinners, dances, and as you can see we have a library, we have Polish school for children, so there is lots of going on and lots of people can use that hall. We also have senior group here that meets here every Tuesday and uh, among them there is lots of veterans, so they also have their meetings. Uh, some of them are living in old uh, senior houses and they're children bring them here to meet with their old friends that they know since they were very young.
talking with Anna, who is a member of the board in the Polish community, and uh, the president was telling us that we have a uh, Polish community school. Could you tell us a little bit more about that? Sure, yeah. We have a Polish school here. Um, it was set up years and years ago. There's about 20 kids now that attend the school. We have a fabulous teacher who came from Poland. Uh, she teaches them, and it's not just language. It's mostly language, but they also learn about learn about the culture, they learn about history, just so that they know kind of where they came from, where their parents are from, they have that tie to the country. So Anna, you're not only a member of the board, you're also the radio host for the Polish radio station. Now, not a lot of uh, communities have their own radio stations, it's pretty interesting. Could you tell us a little bit about it? Definitely. So I host Radio Polonia. It broadcasts out of CFUV, which is at the University of Victoria in the Student Union building. Uh, the Polish show has existed for about 20 years now. There was a woman who had it for years, she started it up, and then this other lady, Grażyna Sommerfeld, took over and she hosted it for about 13 years. And then when I was in my final year at UVic, she came, in to, she came to me and she said she was tired, she wanted to hand it off to a new generation, and so I took over and for the last three years now I've been hosting it. Um, so CFUV is nice enough to give us a slot there every Sunday from 10 to 11 in the morning and I basically play Polish music. Um, not really pop music, but I try and find, you know, stuff that's maybe less known, stuff that was popular back in the day, and I mix that in with community news, I mix that in with news from Poland just for our listeners, because for some of the older people, the older generations here in Victoria, that's their only connection back to Poland. Richard Rudsky is the manager of the White Eagle Ensemble, and Margaret Desbeek is the musical director. The band is a full package with a choir, dancers, and solo singers. Now, Richard, where did you uh, get the idea to put together a full package band? Well, it's a little bit of a long story. When I turned 50, I started thinking about learning some music. I took a couple of lessons of uh, playing trumpet and uh, I learned how to play Happy Birthday and playing Happy Birthday on my uh, friend's party wasn't enough for me. I started to think about band. Uh, talk to my Polish friends with uh, some better musical experience and we started to play together and playing uh, on Polish events uh, uh, was really fun and over the time Margaret Jubik joined us and she became our leader and our teacher and that's how we sort of uh, become more professional what we were doing at the time. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, I'm remembering the first time that Richard asked me to play with the band. I was um, playing with Victoria Symphony and uh, various classical ensembles in town, and I was teaching violin at the conservatory in Victoria. And I've been playing violin classically since the age of six um, back in Poland. And um, it was just all classical, classical, classical music for me. And when Richard called me and said, um, Margaret, you know we have a Polish band. I said, yes, of course. Would you like to play a couple of pieces with us? I found this really interesting tune and there are violins on it. And um, I was a bit reluctant at first because my training so far has been classical. But I was quite intrigued and I thought it's my uh, responsibility to to get to know more of Polish folk music and I said yes uh, and I listened to recordings fell in love with uh, with them right away performed with them a couple of times and that was it um, I decided that I'm going to continue and my role just naturally became of a teacher because I was a teacher and they were willing students for me and of course, um, being a, a professional musician, I always work on my craft. And so when I got a group of willing students, I was um, quite happy to uh, bring their level up with me while I was learning myself about Polish folk music. And so we continued our uh, relationship like this now for about eight years, I would say. Płomienne zorze budzą mnie ze snu Giełdowy ranek, informacji szum Zdrady ma uszach i wartości swej Ej, 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 pełni świadoma Świadoma, że hej Moi koledzy Każdy 
gotów jest Moi koledzy Z lepszych najlepsi Si, si, si Trzydzieste piętro Biurowców szklanych drzwi Słońce zachodzi Mija kolejny dzień A po wyścigu Dobrze zabawić się Moi koledzy
Thank you for joining us today. I hope you had a good time. I look forward to seeing you again.
Yeah. Mm-hmm.